So we left off on source. Uh, let's we can utilize remove formatting once we've actually applied some formatting. Um, some keyboard shortcuts you can do Command B to bold things, and you can do uh, if I highlight this and do Command I that will italicize. So those are two nice little shortcuts. Uh, but let's say that I didn't want the, to apply those. I can select this again. And I have two ways of removing it. Um, you may notice as I'm clicking through things here, there's these two drop-down menus that are changing what the text is inside of them. Um, so to explain those, the first one, we have paragraph format. So it's either normal or heading. Um, this is going to you know, be what it wraps the information in. So if I select all this and I do an H2, and then I look at the source, it's now wrapped that text in H2. Um, if I want to get rid of the H2, I can just select the H2 again and it removes it. Uh, so it's a nice little feature of the editor is that you can actually go and if something's highlighted and selected, you can actually click it again to remove that. And you just want to click on it. Um, another thing which serves the same purpose, if you want to remove all style from it, which is not structural, so H2s will not be removed, so to showcase this, I can make this H2, and then we'll select all of this, and then if I click the Remove Formatting, you notice it just changed the italicized. So because H2 is a structural element and not stylistic in nature, or it's not supposed to be, uh, it did that. So it scrubbed the italicized out of there. So I can actually go and we'll make this bold in addition, and then we'll remove the H2, which is a big no-no for accessibility. But so we have this here, and you see the source is P, strong, and the P tags. I can select it and remove the formatting. And do source again, we see it's just the P again. You can, you know, obviously go in and just start writing HTML, but the idea would be that you don't have to to accomplish these things. Uh, block quote, if I want to remove the block quote I put on in the previous video, I can click the quotes and the quotation marks again to get rid of that. So we do have some styles in the system. Let's look through what those are. So you can have um, div containers, which will allow things to be aligned. Um, so that's you know, going to align everything in the center. Um, most likely you don't need to use that, as we'll showcase later with the templates, uh, which templates are much more advanced forms of HTML. Uh, so we'll turn that off. Um, we have different levels of H2. So there's a stylistic as well as structural component to this. The main reason for this is accessibility. So if I click and that's H2 medium, this is giving you the flexibility of stylistic concerns, which a lot of people use uh, headings for stylistic purposes, uh, but really that's not what they're supposed to be. That can be confusing to screen readers if you're using it just for that reason. Uh, a big focus of Elms is on accessibility, both in content entry as well as you know, presentation to, to other users. So let's look at what the source of this currently looks like. So we have H2 and the class is Elms header three. So I can, you know, we have kind of our baseline of what an H2 represents. I can scrub this, which will remove that style, but it still leaves it as an H2. So if I want to remove the H2, I can do that again. Um, if I apply this as large, you'll see it's a different class. If I open this up here, we have Elms header 1. Uh, so you can go around and apply these classes to things independently, uh, but again, it makes the most sense to use, to stick to the conventions and style guide. Um, so let's remove the formatting from that and go back to square one. Uh, what else we have in here? We have those. We have larger text if you don't want this to be read as a heading. And so you have some text that's just larger than normal text. You can do that. Um, similarly, you can have small text. And so we'll shrink that down. The reason for having these as classes is because, as we'll show in the next video, we have some... Um, serious accessibility scrubbing going on to ensure that the content that's output from this editor is accessible. Um, and so part of that is that it removes inline styles so that you couldn't potentially make, you know, something had a red background with green text on it, uh, which is invisible to someone who's colorblind, for example. Uh, so I'm going to scrub some of these things here. You can see just as some last little things, we can align things to the right. Um, we have an emphasize, which is the italic. So if you do italics through here, um, you can do it through these inline styles. Uh, we have six different colors that are just kind of standard colors that can be overridden by the theme that's part of the style guide. Uh, strong for bold and super and subscript if you need to, uh, you know, more or less if you're doing scientific notation. So you can do that. 